Officials appear to be closing in on Michael Jackson's doctor for the second time in a week. Authorities raided Dr. Conrad Murray's medical records, this time at his home and office in Las Vegas. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman is in Los Angeles with more. Good morning, Hattie. Good morning, Harry. This probe seems to go much deeper into the investigation of Dr. Murray. According to the L.A. Times, the warrants demanded records not only in Michael Jackson's names, but also listed 19 possible aliases he could have used to gain drugs, including Prince Jackson, the name of his son. It is all potential evidence that could link Dr. Murray to Jackson's death. Dr. Conrad Murray was at his Las Vegas home as a team of agents descended. We didn't call the doctor's offices and tell them we were coming. Murray's lawyer says they seized cell phones and a computer hard drive. He says Murray assisted officers. Whatever they needed at the residence, they, they took, and whatever they needed here, they took. Investigators armed with search warrants also came here to Conrad Murray's medical offices. Sources tell CBS News that among the items targeted are medical records, orders for medication, anything that could tie Dr. Murray to the powerful anesthetic propofol. The idea that a physician would be using propofol outside of a hospital setting for any indication or any reason is, is almost unfathomable to me. Propofol, also known as Diprovan, is given by an IV drip and requires extensive monitoring equipment. Dr. Murray reportedly admitted he gave Jackson the anesthesia just hours before his death. If I have found Diprovan, I am going to put on the death certificate homicide. Absolutely. He's clearly facing anywhere from a charge of involuntary manslaughter all the way up to second degree implied malice murder. I think this investigation could not be closer to Dr. Murray. I think it's, it's, it's literally in his backyard. However, it's important to point out that no charges have been filed. Authorities are not calling Dr. Murray a suspect. Everyone is waiting for the toxicology reports, which could come out any time. We thought they could be even today, but we're being told it could be pushed back a bit. Harry? All right. Hattie Kaufman in Los Angeles this morning. Thanks. Joining us also from L.A. is Harvey Levin, executive producer of TMZ.com, who has got an awful lot about this Jackson story right in the last couple of weeks. Harvey, good morning. Good morning, Harry. How much trouble is Dr. Murray in? Well, he's in a heap of trouble, um, and the police have known this literally from uh, two days after uh, Jackson died when Murray went to the LAPD's uh, detective bureau and told the police that he had administered propofol hours before Michael Jackson's death. That is when the police started treating this as a homicide, and they went back into the house. They found in a closet hidden in the area Dr. Murray was staying in the house, uh, drugs including propofol. They found the IV stand the day, of, uh, the day Jackson died, so he has been a target uh, since the get-go. What do we know about all these aliases that Michael Jackson apparently used to help obtain drugs? Well, we've known a lot about it, Harry, uh, and we've been doing a lot of stories about it. Jackson used this not just recently. He has been doing it for, since, you know, we found records from 1993 where there were various aliases. He used employees at the Neverland Ranch. He used fictitious people. He used the name Josephine Baker even. Uh, but this has been going on not just with Dr. Murray, Harry, but literally dozens of other doctors. And I can tell you that the LAPD and the coroner's office has quietly been going to other doctors. Subpoenas have been served, and this is going to open up a massive investigation into what authorities believe could be gross, fraudulent prescribing practices, and there are a lot of people who are very nervous in Beverly Hills in West L.A. right now. So this Murray guy is really just the tip of the iceberg on this story, it sounds like. now. Absolutely. And Hattie just said, maybe we're not going to find out autopsy results this week. What do you know? Well, um, I do know that it's being pushed, and you know, part of this is when the Los Angeles Police Department declares this an official criminal investigation, even though it's really been handling it that way, but when they call it that, certain things happen, and people lawyer up, people won't talk as much, and I would not be surprised, even though what I'm told is it's ready, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets pushed until next week. I think the LAPD may be a week, even two weeks out before they give anything right. to the DA's office. Harvey Levin, as always, thanks for your information. Do appreciate it. Sure, Harry. All right.